Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie uh, a fly. I actually received this from uh, a friend of mine. And these are the J-Sun wings. And I suppose that's the J-Sun uh, nymph body. But that's going to be an emerger. I'm going to try to imitate this a bit. It's a little bit because it was in a small box when it came through the mail, so it kind of the hackle got squashed there a little bit. But I'm going to try and imitate that on my own without the parts. I'm going to use the Hemingway realistic wings. But here's one that I did uh, a green Drake, and I didn't use the Hemingway wings, but. There is the nymph hanging off the back. Got a long hair there. There we go. There's the nymph hanging off the back. That's a green drake. A merger, I guess you could call that. But I also did a small one with the Hemingway wings. And this is a sulfur. This is just basically an articulated, you could move that around, basically an articulated uh, dry fly. I got a little bit, I'm going to put a piece of foam in between the wings, a small strip of foam in between the wings to keep them separated when I wrap the hackle. I think this is going to be a, a catching, fish catcher right there, that sulfur one. So I'm going to go ahead and make another sulfur one. And the first thing we're going to start out is the rear section. And this is just a, uh, here they are here, that I'm using. This is the Aberdeen light wire panfish hook. I'm going to use this because it's a light wire. I'm going to use that for the nymphal shuck, you can say. And the cheap cheap hook because I'm going to cut off half of it when I get done I'm just going to use uh, this is just Danville this was gray but I colored it I used the marker on it changed the color of it we're just gonna tie the nymph for portion here and this is just going to be uh, basically a pheasant tail nymph and that's about that's about long enough right there you can see I'm about little, about a third of this hook is all I'm going to use first thing I want to do is I want to put a rib in there and I'm going to take a, a light wire a very light wire copper wire and you can see I always talk about using parts off of electronic things and here it is very light wire so we're going to tie this in for our rib but we're going to go ahead and doesn't even matter if it goes around to the other side there we go then I'm going to take pheasant tail is actually a female pheasant tail doesn't matter Especially for this uh, this particular fly here, regular pheasant tails different. You know, you'll get different colors on that pheasant tail, so you'll have kind of different colored uh, nymphs. But I'm going to tie this in. Very simple here. Gonna pull that back, put a wrap on top, and bring that up to the front. My fingers are rough, I gotta sand them down. And we're just going to wrap that. Let me roll that a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna tie that off. Now 
Now, if you actually want to have legs on your on your uh, nymphal shuck, you can just pull these down to the side. But first of all, we're going to wrap the we're going to wrap the rib. And as always, I counter wrap them. Yep. There we go. It doesn't matter that that tail kind of moved there because we're going to cut that off. And it'll be fine. We'll bring that up. Give that a couple of wraps. Why I'm, why I'm here, just wanted to, to remind you, there was a, someone I was communicating with on Facebook about his fly and the amount of wraps of thread is it is important you don't need a you don't need a lot you don't have to put a dozen wraps on there so I'm gonna fold these back and I'm gonna tie this off me anyway, whip finish Somewhere around six for this particular one. We'll trim that, and I'm going to trim those legs short. Just going to grab them all, and you got to realize that's the whole nymphal shuck, so that's going to be pretty short. So there's our legs on our nymphal shuck. Give it a little drop of head cement. One thing about this is this is not going to be catching the fish. This this is just going to be dangling. So I'll take that. And I have the little wire cutters. One thing you want to make sure you do is get that tail out of the way. Because I have cut tails off. I get them on there and then I usually put my hand over it on the table to cut them. Huh! And the wrong one flew away. Ain't no way I'm finding that. And here we are. Here's our nymph section. I actually had to tie another one because when I cut it, when I cut that first one, it flew and there's no way I'm gonna find it in this pile of junk I have here I heard it hit the wall so here it is that's gonna be our shuck and I'm gonna go ahead and put a size 14 hook in there and I'm actually going to use the uh, this is Hemingway twisted thread this is 8 ot and uh, the color is a light yellow or a cream yellow. But we're going to go ahead and bring that back to the back. I'm going to take my shuck and what I'm attaching it with is Kevlar thread. You could use a piece of tippet probably like a 6x tippet if you don't have Kevlar this Kevlar is really strong they're not going to pull it off so we have that on there we're just going to tie that in let's get a couple of wraps and then you can move it to where you want it secure that if you feel better you can go ahead and if it makes you feel better fold it over so you can ensure that it's not going to come off see that's pretty tough I mean Kevlar is some strong stuff 
right, I'm going to move it forward to put the wing on. And I'm going to use the Hemingway Mayfly two wings. And these are the small ones. Actually, I'm going to use the ones that's a little bit better. Just those ones are extra small. I'm going to use these ones that are a little bit bigger. There's the wing, and you can see with these wings, there's a dull side and a shiny side. So I kind of I tried to keep the the uh, shiny sides on the inside. Want we want to keep it dull. But I'm going to tie this on. It has two tabs on it. Oop, it rolled on me. There we go. Then I'm going to move it to the back. And secure that back. These wings will... You could adjust them there a bit. Now I'm going to take a piece of foam and I'm going to just put a small sliver in between the wings. This one here has a big foam piece in between and that I'm sure is for floating it. This shuck is rubber and that's really heavy. Plus it's on a very heavy uh, hook. I'm going to go ahead and tie this on. And this little bit of foam will add, will add a little bit more uh, flotation for you too. And I'm going to tie that in, in back. There we go. We got our piece of foam in there. I'm going to adjust these a little bit. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the sulfur super fine dubbing. Make a skinny noodle because it's already fat. Remember, you can always add more when it comes to the dubbing. So go let, go small. And we just watch those wings. One thing about using these realistic wings, they're kind of bulky and getting away. But they make a pretty nice looking fly. Yeah, we're gonna bring that. I'm gonna do a little bit of a figure eight in there with that wing. And that's what we're looking at so far. Now I'm going to take my hackle. I have a honey badger hackle. I like this one for sulfurs. And I'm going to give it a wrap around the at the base there. And then we're going to go ahead and give this a parachute. You could probably do it traditional. Mm -hmm. 
and those wings kind of went back together but when you're fishing it that's not going to be any, any concern we're going to go ahead and tie it down to the hook shank just make sure you get your thread underneath those hackles you don't want to trap too many of them we'll take our poke and snip cuticle trimmer and then our half inch tool because it would be a little difficult to uh, use the whip finish on that We could put some head cement on the bottom. And here we have an articulated sulfur dry fly. And we try to kind of try to make something to that effect. So I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. If you do subscribe, please hit the notify button so that you don't miss any of my videos. Please visit my sponsors and let them know that I sent you. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase any flies for me, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym and if you don't see it there just let me know what you're looking for and i'll get right back to you and most of all thank you very much for watching my videos